Lately, one of my favorite things to do is come up with AI concept fashion. I love using Midjourney to come up with collaborations between brands or even movies and TV shows that I've never seen before. Whether it's coming up with a collab like Nike and Mulger, or it's a company like Gucci mixing with Sailor Moon to come up with a pair of boots. It's fun to come up with concepts that don't exist and then imagine what if they did. But you could actually take that to another step further by actually building those concepts in 3D modeling programs and then trying them in Lens Studio. Lens Studio has an amazing template for creating shoe try-ons called the shoe try-on template. And I actually used it to create a pair of shoes based off of some designs I came up with on Midjourney. And so by coming up with a couple of different designs and kind of picking different features from them, I rebuilt them inside Blender and then I put them in Lens Studio and tried it out and it was awesome. And I added all kinds of effects to it from holograms to lightning and all that kind of stuff. And it just came out so cool. It was really fun. So I decided it would be cool to create this workshop to kind of help other people out there who love creating concept fashion, just kind of take it to another step forward and bring it into augmented reality. So let's jump into the tutorial. Hey everyone, so this is the footwear try-on template. I have it opened up right here on my computer. I have a video that I downloaded from the site called Pexels to try on the shoes from all different angles. The template also comes with this video of the shoes from above. And you could try on the different shoes that they've provided over here on the left from moccasins to different sneakers. And this one I actually just deleted so we could edit. So if you see anything under the sneakers one, just delete the objects underneath. It should look kind of like that. And then you could delete whatever it says underneath the left foot binding and right foot binding. So in Blender, I made a really funky, cartoony looking shoe. This is kind of weird and over the top, but I thought it would be kind of cute and fun to play with. So this is the shoe that we're going to work with today. It's a little bit like a moon shoe and a little bit like a clown shoe. And so I thought that was kind of fun. So first I'm going to show you how to fit this on the occluder, which is pretty simple. You just open up the occluder, which is included in this uh, files and links that I have below. So by going to that link, you should be able to download these two different feet occluders, which is just in one file. It should open up like this. You could just use these um, eyes and toggle that on and off like that. So the left or the right. And so we're going to do the right foot first, and you just have to position this so that it wraps around that occluder. It's pretty simple. And then to do the left foot, you're going to want to just move this out of the way, and then you're going to mirror it like that. And we're going to mirror it to the left foot. And so now we have basically just two feet. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to apply this, and then I'm going to move this over here and just position it just like the other one. Make sure it's balanced right above. And then I need to delete this other shoe. So what I'm gonna do to do that is go into edit mode and then I'm going to mesh, hit mesh and then separate by loose parts. And then going back here, I'm gonna go into object mode and just delete each of these objects. Okay, so now that those are deleted, I can now keep these separated because I wanna have this all be separate materials except these I'm gonna link up by selecting them all and joining them. And then I'm gonna link this up with all the other little things like that. And that's gonna become one object itself. So now we should have this, which I'm gonna merge into one object. This is separate on its own. This is separate and these are separate. We could call this ties and this can be called buckles. This could be the fluff because we're gonna make that fluffy. And this can be the base. And these extra objects we don't need. I can delete the camera, I can delete the light, and delete the, the occluder, and now I'm good with this. So I'm just going to export this. So you're going to want to export it as an FBX file. Now in Lens Studio, I'm going to load both of my shoes under these two squares right here under sneakers one. Okay, so now I'm going to take my left shoe and put it under the left foot binding and click import. And now I'm going to take my right foot binding and I'm going to take the right shoe and I'm going to put that under right foot binding. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to name these different, I mean, we're going to give these each a different material. So what we're going to do is go to the base and we're going to go into the asset library and I'm just going to grab, we could play with a couple of different materials. Like um, I think in the materials we have a nice fur. And we should also have a cartoon material. We could also play with the glass material. Or even, I like to use the crystal material. 
let's see what else do we have here that's kind of cool we could do the tune material we'll just see how it looks so now i'm gonna go to the base and select them both and with them both selected i go to material over here and i'm just gonna select tune and see what happens so we got this really cute tune material and now for the laces i'm gonna do another tune material just duplicate that one and laces I'll select them both I named them two different names sorry if that's confusing and now we have that selected and now for the fluff we're gonna use that fur material okay it's a little funny so we're just gonna select that and we're gonna make the size of the length a little bit shorter so going to hair length I'm gonna make that point one you could test out a couple of different things and see what you like I do usually double sided and then I'm just gonna make this like um, like a hot pink different shades of pink okay and now for my base I'm gonna go into that tune and make it double sided so that the inside you could see it when you're standing over your shoe. I'm gonna make the base color also like a pink. And the line color like a hot pink. But a little darker. You could play around with the shadow intensity of that shader. And now we can go to our laces and we could change this as well. Maybe make these like white or something. We'll see what that looks like. like a baby pink. Okay. And now I'm gonna just check up on my lighting and see if I can change the way this is looking. Yeah, we could change that by lifting it a little bit. I'm just gonna make it like a pink tone actually. No, nah, that's a little too much. All right, so just drop it down a little bit. All right, now I'm just gonna check it from other angles. Now, hopefully this works out because I've not done this yet. Ooh, look at these. Okay, so now I see my occluder. I have to change to an occluder material. So I'm just gonna click on that occluder and I'm going to go to click that default material and I'm gonna click this plus at the top and click occluder. And I actually think that it's, I don't need this occluder, so I could actually just turn that off. And I'm just gonna delete this. I think I could delete these other shoes. Oops. Okay, so there's our cartoon moccasin shoes types of things. I don't know what these are called, but cartoon moon boots kind of, like our own funky kind of shoe. So that's how you set up your shoe in Lens Studio. And you could turn off this UI and just keep this from this template by just clicking on this UI camera right here and just checking that off. And so that's my shoe template. Um, let's see, we can even, let's see, the fluff is a little too much. So maybe if I wanna take that fluff away, and give it another cartoon material. You could just select both the different fluffs from both shoes and then click there and select the tune. And now it's just the same kind of cartoon material. You could try even the other one and you could play around with it that way. So I just thought that was kind of fun. Um, I really like this template. It's really easy to use. That's just the simple way to do it. Um, I, I think it's probably one of the easiest templates to work with because it's already preset where all you have to do is just wrap your shoe in your 3D modeling program around this occluder and you'll have the shoe fit perfectly inside Lens Studio. So it's really easy to use and you could use the segmentation that they have right here. It's like a custom garment segmentation so that it hides the foot really well and also makes the foot underneath the shoe invisible so that that way your shoe looks really nice, especially for client projects or even for creating your recreating your own projects. If you have a shoe company, you can give it another level of realism 
by using the clothing layer like this over the shoe and also making the foot invisible. So these are really great features. Um, yeah, so that's it.